Hello and welcome back to Marky Mark Reviews and this is now part 7 of my UK Hyundai Ionic 5 owners review and this is a bit of a disappointing follow up regarding the rapid charging on ultra fast chargers such as this, the Ionity chargers which I exclusively use because we have a decent uh, cheap contract with Hyundai. Now, there's always a theory that when you charge you try and go closer to where the substation power is uh, for the chargers it, it tends to be quicker but to be honest over the last few weeks and months i've been using every single bay of this uh, ionity charger there are four active bays with two further bays i think planned in the future but i've used every single one of the bays and unfortunately over the winter period so when the weather's been cooler i've noticed a distinct uh, slowing of the rapid charge capability um, so I do a very common trip in between South Wales and London, and this is me leaving from my parents' home in London, 100% battery, 220 mile range. On this particular occasion, I took the North Circular to get to the M4. And as you can see here, this was a two hour and 10 minute journey to the Ionity charging station in Chippenham, which is just off junction 17 of the M4. And this is me starting the charge. It was meant to be a very rainy, blustery day. So I mounted a GoPro on a tripod. Uh, the Ionity charge is very, very simple to use. This is point number or charger number three, which is the furthest from the, the substation uh, power units. So the furthest away, but like I said, it doesn't seem to make any difference. After you plug the car in, you just touch your contactless card on there and it just starts charging rather seamlessly. So this is pretty much what's typical of what's been happening over the past few months since the temperatures have been lower. Um, the, the ambient temperature is around 10 to 12 degrees today. And you may say straight away, oh, but I'm starting at quite a high state of charge, so it won't be that fast. But this car, as may, you may have seen in part five, charges like a beast. So I'm starting at 43% state of charge. This is what's been happening over the past few weeks and the charge rate starts in the high 60s, 67 to 68 kilowatts. And then pretty much stays at this type of rate for quite a long time. Whereas during the summer period and in much higher temperatures, you know, anything above 18 or 20 degrees centigrade, you'd see much higher rates of charge. But as you can see, as I'm taking on charge now, I'm up to 44%. And it's still only pulling in the high 60, 68, 69 kilowatts. This is the in-car dash display. I've set it to 100% charge limit, which I always do when I'm traveling between London and South Wales, because it's a around about 200 mile journey. And during the summer, although it may start at 60 to 68 kilowatts, it very rapidly increases in warmer temperatures to well over 100 kilowatts and then eventually over 200 kilowatts. But since around the end of October, November time, with the cooler temperatures, I, I thought it would only affect the car in very, very low temperatures, but even with today, when this video was taken, it was 10 to 12 degrees centigrade. And after a two hour, 10 minute journey, I thought, I took for granted that there'd be enough heat in the battery. You can see now, I'm still only up to the low 70 uh, kilowatt charging rate. And I've already been there. Uh, two to three minutes now. In the summer, I was already up to the high 100s. So as you can see, unfortunately, I couldn't get the GoPro any close, and I didn't have my camera with the zoom lens, and there's a big glare on the charging screen. But here again, still low 60s, and as you can see, it's actually going down the charge rate, which is really disappointing. And like I said, this has been a continuous experience for the last four to five months and this car was advertised of being able to charge from zero up to 80 percent charge in just 18 minutes and unfortunately i've not been getting anywhere near that type of rate i was during the summer months when i first got the car but since the temperatures have got cooler and that seems to be any temperature under about 15 degrees then it seems to just labor at this very slow charging rate so not as advertised so pretty disappointing really So the charging continues up to 47%. I've just obviously edited this video because the entire charge process took just over 30 minutes, but I've just obviously 
edited it down, otherwise it would be a bit boring. So now five minutes in, just up to 48% state of charge. And incredibly, it's dropping to the mid 50s kilowatts being given. So even for me, I don't think I'd seen this before. So yeah, again, really disappointing. Again, seven minutes past, still into the mid 50s. So I started off with the high 60s kilowatts. Now I'm down to 54 kilowatts after seven minutes. So you can see I'm not going to be anywhere near these super rapid charge times that the car was advertised as being able to achieve. And now as I reach 50% battery state of charge after seven minutes, things start to speed up all of a sudden due to the software, due to the battery getting enough temperature into it the charge rates increase so it jumps up to 100 kilowatts uh, rate of charge which is pretty good still not as impressive as it was during the summer and nowhere near the supposed advertised rate again looking at the in-car dash display which is nice and clear taken on just under well, under 10 percent still only batting along at around 90 to 100 kilowatts so incredibly nine minutes pass I'm up to 53 percent state of charge and again the charge speed lowers to comfortably under 100 kilowatts now mid 90s hadn't seen this before came as a bit of a shock and I'm still hoping that after 11 minutes now that there should be some nice heat getting into the, the battery because as the battery heats up it should allow the car to take on more charge so I'm up to 56% now 11 minutes have passed and normally at this type of time I'd be expecting to be unplugging and being on my way pretty soon because it normally during the summer months charges very quickly but here I'm still having to wait it's not the end of the world I'd admit this is very much a first world problem but it's just advertising or explaining the fact that it's pretty disappointing and it falls short of what the advertised charge rate should be for this car so it drops even further now, even though we're up to 61% state of charge and back into the high 80s charge speed. 14 minutes have passed. I normally would have been unplugging now. I would have got to around 80-85%. And then all of a sudden, as you can see now, at 14 minutes in, 62% state of charge there's a rapid increase in the charge rate still not as good as what it was during the summer which should be up to the high 170s 180s at this point but even though incredibly at 63% state of charge it goes up the charge rate to over 120 kilowatts like I said in warmer summer temperatures when there was already enough heat in the battery I'd be at well well over 180 kilowatts and over 200 kilowatt speeds as I've shown in part five of this uh, Moody's review and I'm pleased now with this charge rate and of course the battery starts filling very very quickly when you see charge rates of over 120 kilowatts just 16 minutes gone and the battery's filling nicely so the time really does fly now and it's good to see but only about three to four weeks before this video was taken, although it was quite cold, I saw charge speeds of the high 170s at around now. Um, so this is still not hitting the, the highest speeds I've seen, even during cold weather. But I'm pleased. I, I say, even for all cars, as long as you get around these charge rates, 100 to 150 kilowatts, that is a very, in my opinion, a very good charge speed. You'll be happy with that, whoever you are, because the, the battery really does fill very quickly. Um, so you can see now from when the speed increased uh, the battery fill is, is uh, getting faster and faster so I'm already up to the, the low 70s and it's, uh, charge rate is continuing to increase up to 125 kilowatts like I said warmer weather it'd be high 100s like around 180 even up to just over 200 kilowatts 
this time of the year, like I said, over the past few months, it's continually um, around about 100 kilowatt speed. So now, as we get to 75, this is the irony. So we've been hitting these wonderful speeds <laughs> at last because there's been enough heat into the battery. But now, because it's hit these states of charge on the battery, so the over 75, 76%, the charge rate naturally drops and this is due to the software and the software protection uh, for the car battery so even during the summer months when you hit these same states uh, of charge you know anything over 76 percent the charge rate drops again so just when it's really getting into its prime because the battery now has enough temperature <laughs> into it you hit these uh, higher states of charge into the high 70 percent and the charge rate drops because that's what it would do normally so i've just not enjoyed uh, any type of long duration of the high charge rates because the battery for some reason stays very cold and again compared to tesla who have again they just seem to be ahead of everyone in a tesla when you're about to charge the car and you're approaching a supercharger which is in the sat nav the car will start to heat the battery so by the time you arrive it charges at an optimum rate when you plug in. So with the Hyundai, even after a long two hour journey, there doesn't seem to be any heat in the battery, which is a real surprise. Because there was hardly anyone there, there's a four bay charger, uh, there were only kind of myself and another driver there. I decided just to continue uh, to 95% uh, in part. Now the weather wasn't as bad as they said, and we we're gonna take a little detour. And these high rates, these are pretty normal, so anything above 90% it takes on a very slow uh, charge rate into the low to mid 20s, which is even slower than my BMW i3, which had a maximum charge rate of 50 kilowatts. It would still maintain up to or over 40 kilowatts, uh, over 90%, but this car, over 90%, it does drop to 40 kilowatt or less. So, anyway, get to 90 five percent and that's good enough for me this is just a demonstration of what i've had to put up with again not the end of the world uh, but it's just very disappointing that this charge you know, charge took as you can see there 35 minutes and it only took on 42 kilowatt hours in the summer i was could take on 60 kilowatt hours from a lower state of charge uh, even sooner the honest charges work very well and that's me, so 95% and I'm ready to go. That's how fast this Ionity charger is going to charge my car. And this is from, as you can see, a starting state of charge of 46%, so just under half full already, the battery. And as you can see, continue to climb. Really impressive charging rate of 186 or so kilowatts because the weather had improved and it wasn't now going to rain as predicted we just had a look to see if there was anything nearby worth visiting and because we're National Trust members uh, we realised there was this place which is called Laycock Abbey and Grounds which is literally just uh, eight minutes drive from the Chippenham Arnity Chargers this was a, a nice uh, informative walk and there's also an attached museum which gives the history of photography because this guy William Henry Fox Torber uh, used to live there and is credited with one of the inventors of photography there's also a, a photo exhibition of the astrophotography winner um, this is part of the Abbey and uh, some scenes from the Harry Potter movies are filmed here as you can probably tell but anyway, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, then please subscribe. Bye for now.